I'm Daryl Lee and welcome to another episode of The Southern Way. Now when most people think about atomic bombs, they think about the bombs that were dropped on Japan during World War II. But what you might not realize is that an atomic bomb has been dropped right here on American soil as well. Recently I traveled to Florence, South Carolina to learn about this atomic accident and to try to find the actual location of this bombing. Check it out. Florence, South Carolina is about 80 miles east of Columbia, the state capital. For many people, Florence is perhaps best known as a convenient stop on the way to the Atlantic coast and Myrtle Beach. Indeed, this serene community is like many others across the South, tree-lined streets and a historic downtown. Florence, however, has an interesting secret somewhat forgotten over the decades, a terrible nuclear accident by the U.S. military. It was March 11, 1958, and the crew of a B-47 bomber was on a routine mission to deliver an atomic bomb from Savannah, Georgia, to its final destination at a military base in the United Kingdom. The standard flight path took it over the state of South Carolina. Remember, this was the height of the Cold War, and both the U.S. and the Soviet Union were amassing large nuclear arsenals across Europe. At exactly 4.19 p.m. on that day, the B-47 bomber experienced electrical problems and accidentally dropped an atomic bomb near Florence. An atomic bomb breaks loose from a mounting shackle in a B-47 jet over Florence, South Carolina, plummets to earth, causing a sensational freak accident. There was near disaster for those within range of the TNT, that is the bomb's trigger. Six were injured. The home of Walter Gregg was turned into a shambles. In the Gregg yard, the blast tore a 35-foot deep crater. But despite the havoc, authorities emphasized the explosion was not a nuclear blast. The bomb was not a symbol for firing, standard procedure during transportation. No accident could make it explode, and there was no fission, no radioactive fission products revealed as the Air Force scoured the area in an intensive search for any information of value following the first accident of its kind in history. I wanted to see if I could find the site of this bomb drop for myself. To find the bomb site, take Palmetto Street east of Florence continuing past the regional airport. So I'm on my way now to Mars Bluff, the site where the atom bomb was dropped. Hopefully I can find it because from my understanding, it's in the middle of an abandoned trailer park that's overgrown, so wish me luck. Thankfully, a historical marker and road sign helped point the way. It's hard to believe this is the site of the nation's nuclear close call. When you enter the abandoned trailer park, drive all the way to the back. There are no signs directing you. When you get to a row of concrete barriers, you know you are getting closer. A makeshift path will lead you to the site of the bombing. But trust me, there are a few clues pointing you to the right direction. Prepare yourself for a walk through the woods. So I'm like six miles east of downtown Florence. And this is supposed to be the Mars Bluff area where the bomb dropped. So hopefully I can find the crater. Okay, I must be getting close because the bomb dropped on Walter Gregg's home. 
While the nuclear warhead itself did not explode, the impact of the bomb destroyed Walter Craig's home and wounded members of his family. The force of the blast caused damage as far away as five miles from the impact site. The sight of Greg's home let me know I was headed in the right direction, but so far all I see are trees and brush, and not an atomic crater. Whew. That was quite a hike through the woods, but I think I finally found it. Even though there was no atomic explosion, the bomb still created this crater. While the crater has diminished over time, originally it was 70 feet wide and 30 feet deep. Even now, several decades later, Geiger counters can still detect trace amounts of radiation at the site. Some people believe that the water in this crater is radioactive. Boy, am I thirsty. Scientists, however, say that the murky color of the water is caused by ash from wood burned at the site. When you stand at the site of the crater, it isn't hard to imagine how much worse this accident could have been if the atomic warhead had actually exploded. The atom bomb that dropped on Mars Bluff was the size of an automobile. Local residents have built an observation deck and display area to mark the location. In the days immediately following the explosion, the U.S. military was put on the defensive to explain what had gone wrong. Some local residents still don't believe they've been told the entire story of what really happened. Today, the community of Florence has put the episode behind it, although the bomb dropping has clearly become part of the city's history. Fragments of the atom bomb that dropped on Mars Bluff can be found here at the Florence Museum. While the military confiscated most of the debris from the crash site back in 1958, a few pieces of the bomb can be seen at Florence's Museum of Art, Science, and History. Seeing that atomic bomb crater firsthand makes me realize just how lucky the people of Florence, South Carolina were on that day back in 1958. It takes a little detective work but if you are ever near Florence, take some time and try to find this historical location for yourself. Join us again soon for another fascinating look at the American South. See you next time.